Hey, what's up? This is Mikey for Blue Monkey Bicycles, and I've got some e-bike news for you. A new fat tire monster is coming to the streets near you. It is the Defender S from Unirow. Dual suspension, dual motors, dual batteries, dual engagement. It is completely insane. Starting at 2000 bucks, it's a lot of bike. So let's get into it, shall we? Hide your kids, hide your wife, because this bike is not for the faint of heart. Check out the Defender S. Already it looks pretty slick. I mean, look at those gears. No, not those gears, those gears. Looks pretty cool, huh? But really though, the bike has pretty much everything except for the kitchen sink. It's rocking two separate 750 watt hub motors for an all wheel drive platform. I've ridden some all wheel drive bikes in the past and it makes loose terrain a lot of fun, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. The Defender S comes stock with a 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery, and you choose the upgrade path, either an additional three amp hours inside the form factor, or you can get a bolt-on battery that can still double the capacity for a total of over one and a half kilowatts of energy. And that's actually a larger battery than a second generation Prius. Unirow says the Defender S is capable of 80 miles of range and 35 miles per hour of top speed. But I can tell you from experience that those two things are quite likely, but not together. I have a Nissan Leaf that can't even do that. And yes, I am still holding a grudge against Nissan. But for the Defender S, the fun keeps going because the dual suspension frame is combined with fat tires and a somewhat laid back riding position for a lot of comfort on the trails. But there's actually a couple of funny things about the bike that I wanted to mention. The bike has a front light that is integrated into the main battery pack, but that is kind of like the lonely commuter accessory. The bike has no fenders, no rack. Maybe there's a red tail light in the box, but it would be separate and run on its own batteries if it were. But what I find actually kind of cool about the bike is that the bottom bracket totally looks like a casing for a mid-drive motor, but actually it's holding the controller for the whole bike. The brains of the operation sends up to 25 amps of current to each of the wheels, so it's kind of oversized. And they stuffed it right there in the bottom bracket, which is actually kind of a cool use for the space. I guess it kind of looks like you got three motors because you have one in each wheel and also you have that casing in the middle. I mean, it'd be redundant. The mid-drive motor wouldn't really do a whole lot when it's paired with the hub motor in the back, but I don't know. I'm getting aside from myself. Mechanically, the bike is really decent. The shifter is about on par for the course and the hydraulic disc brakes are 180 millimeters in size. Normally, that's actually a really good thing. In this case, I would say that it is adequate. The reason why is because the Defender S is going for both a high speed and this bike is heavier than a millennial's emotional defenses, so those brakes have a lot of work to do. Unirow definitely made a good choice by putting some good brakes on there. Let's talk about how it rides, or I guess how I think it would ride. Last year, I got to ride a dual motor bike that's more of a commuter. It's the fat tire all-wheel drive bike called the Unirow Fat All-Wheel Drive. Yes, it's a very creative naming convention. <laughs> Anyways, the bike was a lot of fun in the snow, and I had a blast using it on trails and areas that were normally completely out of reach for me. Climbing hills was a lot of fun, especially when they were wet, and I've never been able to go to places like that until I had a bike. Using it on the road was fine, but it made me just want to dive off into the forest somewhere because the thrill of being able to traverse nearly any terrain was quite alluring indeed. Let's go ahead and get the elephant in the room out of the bag and talk about the price. As you see it, the base model with 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery, the bike is starting their Indiegogo price of 2000 big ones. That's 800 bucks off the impending MSRP. If you decide to spring for the upgraded internal battery and the extra battery on the frame of a larger size, your total early bird price is still just $26.99. If you're in the market for a bike that will let you bounce through the trails in style and scare the pants off of anyone who wants to compare features, then the Defender S is actually a pretty good deal. If you don't get the time for the early bird special, it's still a decent bike and I would be kicking myself if I was in the market and let this go. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below how you would use this bike because I'm trying to get one for a review and I could use some ideas and also some engagement to make the video more popular. You get it? I think you know what I'm going for. <laughs> I'm Mikey G for Blue Monkey and I will see you on the later. Bam.